Welcome back to Tutorial Tidbits. I'm Elizabeth St. Hilaire and today I want to talk to you about a very basic simple way to apply golden fluid acrylics to paper to create a wonderful base layer for a lot of other techniques. Now I'm going to use a gift card and I'm going to scrape different colors together onto a sheet of paper that then could be a base layer to uh, using stencils, using rubber stamps, using other texture plate rubbings, um, any number of layering. I do a lot of layering in my collage papers, but this makes a beautiful base layer. It's quick. It's dry almost immediately. It's instant gratification. And who doesn't like instant gratification? So if you've got a few minutes, I'll show you how to do it. So today I am using my golden fluid acrylics. I've got an old uh, hotel room key and a sheet of old sheet music. And I'm going to show you how to scrape color with this simple tool and make something pretty beautiful as a base layer here. Or it may even be its own collage paper. Um, so basically, uh, sometimes I'll put the fluid acrylics out on a palette. Um, but sometimes it's also easy just to put them onto the paper directly and then scrape them. So here's my gold. Um, oh, I forgot to mention the colors. So iridescent gold, teal, one of everybody's favorite colors, green gold, another one of everybody's favorite colors, and permanent violet dark. So I'm just going to take that little bit of paint and scrape it by dragging the card across it at an angle. And I'm going to move around the sheet and just apply gold in a few different places. Then I'm going to come in with my permanent violet. Scraping that over the gold and also in places where there isn't gold. Changing the direction of my paper. Then I'm going to come back with the teal. Scrape that over the other colors. And my green gold. That's a vibrant, bright color. Now, depending on how you angle the card, you can disperse more or less paint. So if you want to scrape it really thin, you're going to keep it upright. And if you want to apply more paint, you're going to angle it down like this. I like keeping it thin so you can see every layer through the next. And also, it's dry almost immediately that way so that you can layer it on your gel plate or your rubber stamps or your texture plates or whatever your next layer might be. So here, I'm going to clean off the card by wiping it onto clean paper. And then I'm gonna come back in with some gold again over the top of this. Gold is the metallic, um, is, um, can be opaque if you lay it on thick. Um, it'll obliterate what's underneath it. But if you lay it on thin, it also gives sort of a little glow to all the colors underneath. And now, lastly, I'll come back again with the uh, teal. There, and now I've got a fun base layer for some other techniques with the golden fluid acrylics and the credit card scraping. And um, again, as I said, I can come back in here with stamps or a gel plate or alcohol or soap bubble resist or any number of my other painting paper techniques, but this is dry pretty much right away. It's nice and thin and dry and you can divide it in two and treat the two halves differently, which will give you even more variety. 
so I can do something on additional on this half and something additional on that half. So that is the um, card scraping technique. Uh, depending on your color combinations, you may love it just the way it is, but I enjoy it as a base layer for other techniques to go on top of. So thank you for being here and happy Friday.